Thanks for watching. My name is James Robertson with Workspace Real Estate. And today in the day in a life, I want you guys to see just how much life is changing for us in the commercial real estate industry. The first thing this morning, I have a conference call with a national franchise owner that's looking to set up multiple sites in Houston. After that, I have a Zoom meeting with some investors looking to develop industrial properties in the Houston market. So let's get this party started. And today we have a call coming in. They are kind of interviewing our firm to see if we're a good fit. And we are interviewing them. What's up, man? This is James. How you doing? Uh, man, I'm, I'm living the American dream one day at a time, man. Now I'll tell you this. As a commercial real estate broker, it is imperative that you qualify your clients just as much as they qualify you. Over a decade of experience has taught me that getting a deal done in this market requires a certain set of ingredients. If a client does not have enough business history or financials or they don't have strong enough credit, even documents of incorporations, any of these things missing can torpedo getting a deal done with a landlord. So we spent about 45 minutes talking on the phone with the franchise owner. I think we hit it off pretty well. We talked about his business, what opportunities were in the Houston market. Well, you heard some of the call. I love those kind of calls because it doesn't mean that every deal is guaranteed, but you get to build new relationships, you get to be qualified, and you get to qualify like I talked about before. So, so far so good and we're on to the next one. So after my conference call with the franchise owner, I have a Zoom meeting with some investors looking for industrial space. So I want you guys to check out that conversation next. Now I do a lot of office deals and industrial deals in the Houston market. I do leasing for office industrial, I do buyer representation, and I also help sell these buildings as well. Now I will tell you on the office side of things, everyone is bracing for the office market to slow down big time because of the increase in telecommuting and the increase in virtual working from home. So this particular call is helping a group of investors that have already been very successful playing in different markets across the country. And they're just trying to get more acclimated to the Houston market. And it's my job to kind of show them where the activity is heavy and where I think the plays can be made here in this market at this point in time. These conversations are slow going, you know, commercial real estate deals, uh, can take time and if you try to rush it it's a red flag people that are successful are not rushing they don't rush so we can't rush if they want to take six months to evaluate that's totally fine one of my most successful deals I've ever done it took us over a year to get together so this call is going to be interesting when you look at what's going on in certain markets in Houston especially the softer markets like Greens Point or Southwest Houston, Chimney Rock and 59. Uh, the buildings that have the highest occupancy with the fastest leasing velocity, those are... Now this was a great call. It was my first time meeting everyone by phone. And I have to say that I like Zoom meetings with investors. So one of the things I love about the business is being able to be creative. Investors like the ones that we're talking to right now on the phone, they demand the expertise and the ability to think outside the box. We have a process in place to kind of help get some leasing velocity where our competitors can't. Those are the type of things that there's not a manual to show you how it works. There's no instruction booklet or mentor that says, this is how you do it. You just have to learn how to do it. And when you do, you get rewarded with more opportunities. So that was a wrap for me today. What do you think about these type of posts? What can I include or leave out that would be more entertaining for you as an audience? Let me know in the comments, and I'm so looking forward to the next one.